What's up guys, C. John Vlog here. Today we're gonna go with some um, Pai Gao hands. I don't know if you, in Pai Gao you get seven cards. You have to make a high card hand and a low card hand. It's not really a low card hand, it's really your second highest. Your first highest and your second highest. And your first highest hand, well in your highest hand, it has to consist of five cards. And your second highest can consist of two cards. So maybe like a straight and like an ace king or a, a five card straight and a, whatever your other two highest cards are left over. You want to make both hands as high as possible because you can be competing against a dealer. You can compare the five card hand to the dealer's five card hand and your two card hand to the dealer's two card hand. I just want to show you some scenarios, what, you know, what might happen. Everybody gets seven cards. You just you make a bet and when you win you charge five percent. That's how it works. When you win you, you charge you get they charge you five percent. Everybody gets seven cards and the dealer gets seven cards. And let's see what we got. I set up these hands obviously. Okay, so the Joker can be used as an ace or to complete a five card straight or to complete a five card flush. Nothing else. Three ways you can use a Joker as an ace. To complete a five card straight or to complete a five card flush there's only that's the only three ways you can use a joker it's not totally wild okay so here you have eight if you complete a seven six five four three okay so you got three four five six seven eight now you want to make the top can as high as possible also so you want to see you don't want to do the eight seven six five four because then you you're left with king three or you could do it the other way, three, four, five, six, seven, and put the highest card up here. So that's the way you would set it. You gotta check for a flush. How many, how many, one, two, three, four diamonds. So that's the way you'd play it. King eight with that. There's really no other choice. Okay, and the next hand I have set up here. Okay, you're gonna look for straights. You're gonna look for a five card straight. You're gonna look for a five card flush. How many diamonds do we have? One, two, three. We have five diamonds, so we have a flush. But it looks like we also have a straight. Jack, ten, nine, eight, seven. Okay, so now we're gonna have a choice. Do we play the straight or do we play the flush? So let's check it out. If we play the straight, we're left with ace and a deuce up top. Okay, so that sounds good. But if you, some people say, but wait, you have a flush, you have a flush. If you play the five card flush, you only have a jack and a seven up top. So the rule is, you would play a straight over a flush if you can improve the two card hand, the top, to a king or higher. If you can improve the two card hand to a king or higher, you play the straight over a flush. So you have jack, 10, 9, 8, 7. You do improve the front to a, a king or better. So that would be the way you'd play it. A jack high straight with an ace deuce. All right, let's see what else we got in store here. What other goodies? Okay, in this situation, you look for a straight. Do you have a straight? Seven, six, five, four, three. So yeah, you do have a straight, but also you have two pair, sevens and threes. I mean, you have two choices here. Do you play the threes? Do you play the threes in the in the low hand, and you play the sevens as two? You know, a pair of sevens and a pair of threes. That you could do it, and that wouldn't be wrong, but. I mean, you know, optimal optimal strategy says sometimes if you have two pair, you should play. You should split the two pair. But some casinos say the the two pair have to be of certain value. Like I know of one casino where you have to have at least jacks or better in the high hand and sixes are better in the low hand. If you don't have jacks or better in the high hand and sixes are are better in the low hand, then you'd play the straight. So some casinos do it differently. Obviously, you're not going to keep these two pair together because you'd have sevens and threes with a six, five. That's terrible, no. Okay, so some casinos would play the two pair. It's called the two pair rule. You'd always play the, split the sevens and the threes. But I know the casino I work at says that you'd have to have at least jacks or and jacks are better and sixes are better. So the casino I work at would, would play the straight. Seven, six, five, four, three with just a seven and the three up top. I mean, I mean, you could play it either way as a player, you could play it either way you want, but I'm just telling you, you know, a lot of casinos have different rules on when to, when to play the two pair, it's called the two pair rule. So this is a seven, six, five, four, three, seven, three. I mean, if you play this way as a player, you have like 
literally like a 1% chance of winning with a 7 up top. Maybe less than 1% because, I mean, your straight's going to win most of the time, but that 7 is rarely going to win. I mean, it probably probably less than 1%. Okay, let's see what we got, what goodies we have here. Oh, I see a pair of jacks already. Oh, I got a lot of good hands here. Okay, so in this hand we have a pair of jacks and a pair of sevens. Okay, so now we have two pair. Uh, options would be to play the jacks in the high hand and play the sevens in the low hand. Well, I got it backwards. Goodness gracious, what am I doing? Sorry, guys. <laughs> I had a, had a mind, mind, mind fart. Jacks in the high hand or sevens in the low hand. Or you have a straight, right? Jack, 10, 9, 8, 7. So this is a situation where even though they have a straight, the two pair are pretty strong to where the jacks, jacks are better and sixes are better. So the, the place I work at would play it like this, jacks and sevens, because you have two strong pair. The jacks are pretty strong and the sevens are really strong for the top. But if you wanted to break it up, you could. It wouldn't be wrong. Jack, 10, 9, 8, 7. And what's left over? Jack and the seven. So you have no other straight, so you'd have to play it like that. Jack high straight with the jack seven in the low hand. So I mean as a player you could do that, it wouldn't be wrong. But but the jack up high jack at the top is pretty weak. You probably very rare you're gonna win with a jack up top. Maybe like two to three percent at a time. Alright, I got a couple more hands and I'll be finished. Highlight like my bankroll. Friend of mine, uh Jason from um from um, 504 Road Trips made it for me. Okay, this hand we have a lot of pairs here. We have queens, sixes, and deuces. This is called three pair. I mean, it's rare, but it does happen. I mean, maybe I see it at least once or twice a night in my eight hours of dealing. So here you have a couple of choices. Of course, your high hand has to beat your, your low hand, but you know you could have queens or sixes are better, and you could put deuces up top. That wouldn't be wrong. Again, you're not you're not following you're not following your hand. It's a legal hand. You have two pair and you have one pair. But the the, the um the optimal strategy when you have three pair is to keep the two pair together and put the highest pair at the top. This is called the top. The two card hand is called the top. So you have queens and you have two pair because usually it's it's rare that you'd be competing. You could be comparing your two card hand to the dealer's two card hand. It's rare for both of y'all to have two pair in the high hand. I mean, it's possible, but you, the, the best way to play this hand is called three pair. Is to put your highest pair in the top and put your you know, the remaining two pair in the bottom. I think I have like one more hand to show y'all. Okay, in this hand, let's spread them out. Okay, we're gonna look for five card straights, five card flushes. No, that doesn't look like a straight. But how many? How many? Clubs do we have? One, two, three, three clubs, so, so no straight either, okay? So here we have queens and fives, and what's left over? If you kept your two pair together, you'd have queens and fives, and you put your remaining two cards at the top, the ace and the nine. That's two pair, queens and fives, with the ace and the nine. What you could do, also, wouldn't be wrong, is keep the queens Keep the queens in the high hand and keep your fives you could what they call split the pair you could split your two pair you have your choice here when you have two pair you always have a choice do you want to keep them together or do you want to split your pair in this situation you have queens and fives with an ace this ace is very important so a lot of places have a rule what what level of two pair do you have to have but when you should keep them together the place I work at this jacks and sixes again. If you have jacks are better and sixes are better, you should split the pair. So since I, since then both of these pair, you know the queens meet the meet the requirement of being jacks are higher, but the the fives do not meet the requirement requirement of being sixes are higher. So the place I work would keep these two pair together with the ace and the nine at the top. And as a player, again, it's your choice. You could do it either way. It wouldn't be wrong. I mean, it's not the end of the world either. It's, it's not a bad way to play it. It's not a bad way to play it, to keep your queens together and, and split your pair. I mean, you have a, who knows what the dealer has, right? It's a, it, you're gambling. But the optimal strategy for the casino thinks they, they, should, they think they should keep these two pair together 
and you know that's the way they think they want to play it. I mean, queens and fives are gonna. That's two two pairs strong. Ace nine is ace in the top is strong. So it's just up to you which way you want to play it. That's just a couple of hands I wanted to show y'all. So um, like if you have a straight and a flush, you know, the only time you're gonna to want to play the straight over the flush is if you can improve the front, the two card hand, to uh. Oh, wait, I have, think I might have one more hand here. Okay, here we have tens and fours. How many, how many clubs do we have? One, two, three. Oh, wait, we have a flush here. So we have two pair. We have tens and we have fours. Okay, this is a good one. So you can keep your two pair together and play the ace and the jack and the top hand. That's one way to play it. It wouldn't be wrong. Two pair with an ace and a jack. But you also have a flush. So if you play the flush, if you keep your five card flush together, you'd have ten and a four. <laughs> so the ten and a four is very weak at the top. It's, it's not a face card. It's not even, a, you know. So the casino rule is when you have a flush and you have two pair, the only way you should play the two pair is if their jacks are better and sixes are better. But this is, this is the caveat to this situation here. There's another rule. If you have two pair and an ace, you should play the two pair and the ace together. So that's just a, you gotta just, that's just a little caveat you have to remember. If you have two pair and an ace, it's very strong. Two pair is strong in the eight, especially with the jack, the face card. So that the casino, the casino I work at would bust up the flush. They would not play the flush. They'd play the two pair, the tens and the fours with the ace and the face, ace and a jack up top. I mean, like I said, you could play it. You could play the tens and the fours. You could play it that way. It wouldn't be wrong. But you know, you can or you can keep your two pair together, tens and the fours with the ace jack. Or also, of course, you have the flush still. You have the five card flush with a ten four up top. You're not gonna you're not gonna win that hand very often though. With the ten is very weak, so I wouldn't I wouldn't want to play the flush with a ten up top. You want to keep the two pair together with the ace and a jack, or I'd play the flush. I mean, or I'd split your pairs. I mean, keep your tens in the high hand and fours. And the bonus, you still get paid for the bonus. No matter how you set your hand, after the hand's over, you compare whether you win or lose. The dealer will reset your hand, and you'll still get paid the four to one for the bonus. The bonus, you get paid on straights, flushes, three of a kinds. And you know, even high. This is, this is the, talking about the bonus. Is talking about the five card hand now, not the two card hand. Only the five card hand. After the hand's over, the dealer will reset your hand. If you have a straight, a flush, a three of a kind, and all that stuff. So um, yeah. If you have any more questions, let me know. But Pi Guy, this is a, a basic tutorial on how how to set your hands. All right, y'all have a good day. Peace out. Remember, click the thumbs up. Help me out.